Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2021 Spanish thriller and crime movie called The Vault. The movie begins with a ship sinking off the coast of Spain in 1645, drowning all the treasures it carried. In September 2009, a group of private marine salvagers, led by Walter Moreland, are searching the shipwreck for treasures. One of the crew, James, free dives into the wreck to search for a particular chest with the motto Sic Parvis Magna inscribed on it. He successfully retrieves the chest and goes back to the boat. Unfortunately, their boat is cornered by Spanish authorities. At the court, Walter loses possession of the treasures to the Spanish government as they were taken from Spanish waters. They are transferred to a secret, heavily guarded vault underneath the Bank of Spain in Madrid. Walter meets a British representative, Margaret, who tells him that his search for the treasure is over now that Spain has it. However, he does not seem satisfied. A year later, a bright young student at the University of Cambridge, Tom, is meeting various oil company representatives who generously offer him jobs with impressive salaries and other perks due to his bright ideas that solve the Gulf oil crisis. However, he does not seem even slightly interested in those offerings. While having dinner with his dad, he receives a mysterious text message telling him to go outside to be offered an interesting opportunity. He proceeds with the instruction until he meets a short-haired blonde woman, Claudia, who leads him to meet Walter in a bar. Walter calls her by her real name, Lorraine. He then expresses his intention to recruit Tom to break into an impenetrable bank vault. He is convinced Tom is the right person to do the job because as an engineer, he can construct the problem about the vault and offer a solution. He gives Tom his airline ticket to Madrid, allowing him to think through it. Tom agrees to accept the job and boards the plane to Madrid. At the airport, he meets Lorraine, this time with a different appearance. The whole country is celebrating the 2010 World Cup season, with people flocking into the streets to watch the games. Tom meets Walter's other team members, Simon, James, and Klaus. He impresses them by giving an idea to trick a bank employee to give his voicemail code so Klaus can access the bank's security system. In the evening, Walter explains that he has been searching for the treasure for 30 years, which makes it very important to him. It originally belonged to Sir Francis Drake, stolen from the Spanish, but he kept it for his own instead of delivering it to the British crown. The most prized treasure would be the chest with Sic Parvis Magna which hosts three coins containing coordinates to more treasure. Back in the group's base, they explain to Tom that they have been mapping the underground tunnels near the bank as they intend to enter the vault from below. They realize unlocking the vault would need two keys and the fingerprint of Gustavo Medina, the bank's head of security. First, they need to scan the structure of the vault using a magnetometer to map it. Tom volunteers to do it as he knows how to use the device. He disguises himself as a cleaning service along with Simon while Lorraine disguises herself as an art curator who comes to the bank to inspect its artworks. She actually wants to scan the vault's keys placed in safes. During her time in the chairman's office, she notices an unlocked window, deducing that the chairman has been smoking in his office. Tom uses the magnetometer under the table in a meeting room, but an error occurs, causing him to start over the device which triggers the bank's fire alarm. Gustavo and the team proceed with the security protocol but could not locate the trigger of the alarm, assuming it is just a power outage. Examining the magnetometer scan results, Tom deduces that the vault sits beneath a large water tank and it acts like a giant weighing scale. If there is a change in weight inside the vault, a mechanism will trigger water from the tank to flood the vault, trapping and drowning the thieves inside. Meanwhile, Gustavo is scolded as the earlier fire alarm causes soldiers to flock into the bank and scare the World Cup supporters who are crowding the streets and square in front of it. James and Simon locate the base of the vault through the underground tunnels, proving Tom's theory that it is a giant scale. However, the wall consists of titanium-reinforced concrete, which takes 15 days to drill, longer than the time they have. The team gives up, but Walter, Observing the security cameras placed around the bank all point to the crowd gathering in Sabell Square to watch the World Cup, deduces that they can break in from above during the football games by selecting a spot not exposed to the cameras. The best time to do it will be during the grand final match. Meanwhile, the actual bank's cleaning service tells the security men that he has not gone to work for two days, making them wonder who were the cleaners yesterday. They quickly realize the cleaners used fake identities, but due to Tom and Simon not having any criminal records, their true identities are not discovered. The team panics, but Walter tells Tom to focus on solving the scale problem while he makes a call to Margaret, a member of the British Intelligence Service MI6. He tells her to pass false information that two men matching the appearance of Simon and Tom were arrested at London Heathrow Airport to reduce Gustavo's suspicion of the planned heist. 
The bank's chairman is convinced the heist problem has been solved and allows the crowd to gather in Sabel Square for the anticipated final match between Spain and Netherlands. Lorraine asks Tom for a drink at a local bar where they can unwind. He observes the barista making cold drinks by spraying nitrogen and gets an idea. He demonstrates to the team that by freezing the scale using nitrogen, it will not register the weight change. From that, they work on a plan. Simon will have to get 500 liters of cold nitrogen to freeze a scale as big as the vault, Tom, Lorraine, and James will enter the bank, and Klaus and Walter will monitor them. The night before the heist, they drink rum and voice their regrets, although none of them expresses any regret for joining the mission. On the D-Day, Tom, James, and Lorraine enter the bank's main foyer by cutting through a glass panel in the roof. By Klaus guidance, they are able to time their departure to not be seen by the patrolling guards. They enter a room without a security camera and access the air vents. Tom, not used to physical activities, slows down the team, but he still manages to stick through the plan. Although they are 10 minutes late from the schedule, they finally arrive at the vault. Simon then begins to freeze the scales. It takes a long time for the vault to freeze, almost making James give up on the mission. However, Tom is sure his way will work and they can safely enter the vault. He takes a confident first step and the scale remains balanced, allowing them to search the room. Lorraine discovers the chest and the coins. Meanwhile, the bank security discovers that there has been a hole in the roof, used earlier by Tom and his friends to enter the building. Gustavo orders his men to search the entire building and block all exits. Back in the vault, the effect of the nitrogen wears off, causing the scales to detect the weight change and triggering the water to flood the room. James, who actually has an agenda on his own to retrieve the treasure back to the British crown, threatens Lorraine to give him the coins, then leave by swimming through the tank. Tom and Lorraine, unable to match his swimming ability, are left in the vault gasping for air before the vault is completely flooded. During those moments, Walter is already prepared to call the bank and turns himself in so that the water can be stopped, but Tom says it is no use as the water would not stop flowing until the vault is completely flooded. He then wonders how would the vault detect whether the water is full. He suggests that the weight of the flooded vault will register on the scales and trigger the water to stop flowing. He asks Simon, who is listening to the final World Cup match on his dad's old radio, to trick the scales by placing empty nitrogen cans so the scales will detect heavier weights. However, the water does not seem to stop flowing, making Klaus and Walter believe they have lost Tom and Lorraine. The water then stops after Simon places his dad's old radio on the scales. The vault drains all its flooded water, then Gustavo and his men enter the vault to find nobody. He deduces the thieves might have escaped through the vents and orders the guards to search the building. Out of options to escape, Lorraine thinks of the unclosed window at the chairman's office. She heads there with Tom, successfully escaping to the crowds of football supporters on the streets where Gustavo will not be able to shoot at them. They try to lose themselves but police are coming at them from almost every direction, so they decide to stop running and share a kiss. At the same time, Spain scores in the final, causing the crowd to erupt into happiness. The celebration allows them to escape and make their way safely back to Walter. In the British Embassy, James shows the coins he obtained to Margaret. After deciphering them, they realize that the coordinates lead to the Eiffel Tower, a place Margaret has mentioned to Walter. The coins were actually swapped by Lorraine so James took the fake ones, while the originals are safe in Walter's hands. When asked by Tom, Walter answers that he suspects James might betray him so he prepared the fake coins. They then decipher the coordinates on the real coins. Sometime later, a month before the London 2012 Olympics, Lorraine, with a new identity and appearance, is seen entering the Bank of England, possibly preparing another heist. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.